is only evident when when I'm calibrated in opposition to my desire fear exists when I calibrate in opposition to desire and so is it necessary no is it helpful yes it's needed because how are you gonna know if you don't know about emotions how are you gonna know that this feels good if this doesn't feel bad isn't everything relative isn't there a relationship thing that's going on isn't that at the basics of physics as you know them to be isn't that necessary to calibrate anything it doesn't have to get to fear it could be frustration but if you're frustrated and you don't calibrate don't worry it'll get bigger now you're mad you're angry if you don't calibrate don't worry it'll get bigger until you're in actual despondent despair you can get more and more and more and more and more pinched off from who you really are this is something that we have just begun saying since we're talking about calibration and so many of you are resonating to what calibrating really is when you feel negative emotion you are in the act of calibrating to something you do not want but in the moment that anyone is calibrating to what they don't want an equivalent calibration of what is wanted is happening at the same time that's what relativity does for you so if it's really 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 unwanted then this is really 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 wanted and you didn't just get there there's been momentum in those vibrations that have led you to that so the whole time you've been calibrating your way to fear you've also been calibrating your way to love it's just that you've been choosing to look this way because there's been so much in the physical realm that you're used to seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching that's sort of leading you that way so while you're creating something unwanted you're creating something wanted while you're calibrating to something unwanted you're calibrating something wanted and so there it is but if you don't know if you're used to only seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching you can't see what's over there you can only feel what's over there so it isn't until you understand that emotions are your tool of evidence of what you're calibrating that you would begin to feel for something else you can't look and find it because it hasn't turned to things it's not manifested yet but you can feel it so as you feel for it and find it and 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 calibrate to what feels good then those thoughts turn to those things how are you going to create something that hasn't been before in your life experience don't you have to start where you are and if you're starting with a belief that you're unworthy or incapable don't you have some vibrational ground to cover before it starts taking shape yes law of attraction is the engine and you are source energy but it does require focus it does require calibrating and turns out just wanting it occasionally doesn't cut it so maybe you're calibrating 3% 4% maybe you're calibrating 10% maybe you're all in maybe you're paying attention to how you feel maybe how you feel matters maybe when you don't feel good you're thinking about why you don't feel good and you're poking around at it until you really don't feel good maybe you're making it absurd and you really don't feel good and you're launching more and more rockets and then you decide it gets big enough and bad enough and absurd enough that you say I don't want to feel like this we want to say that the power is in the energy it certainly is but a creator focuses and so what we would like to say is we don't want you to manipulate through words and actions and by trying to get other people to behave in different ways and by trying to think what's their real ulterior motive and what were they getting at and why did this turn out that way in other words stop manipulating and start calibrating but the percentage of attention could be great a lot less action a lot more calibrating a lot more thinking a lot more feeling a lot less speaking and a lot less doing and a lot less managing and a lot less controlling and a lot less trying to get other people to be different than they are so that you can feel better but still calibration is a real deal it's real work that's only and always and ever will it will be because you were source energy oh so happy why would you come here <laughs> there must have been something really big in it for you oh eternity more identification recognition of things wanted and then isolating 
the vibration of it and then calibrating to it and feeling the cooperative universe back you up and fill in all the details of what you want you're a master creator that's why you came and so you want to create we don't want to give you the impression that you've got nothing to do you got a lot to do you want to think your way into happiness happiness would just be yours if you weren't in an environment where there were things to think about but in this environment with things to think about you're in a constant state of choosing and if you're sloppy about it so if you think oh well the universe is taking care of 97 percent of it and i don't have to think very much we say we'd be thinking if we were you thinking and feeling and thinking and feeling and thinking and feeling and thinking and feeling don't make yourself nuts esther's obsessed with this calibration something happens she goes directly to her book <laughs> there's a problem and here's what it is and she writes it down with great relish because she's eager about cleaning something up and what's so interesting every time she cleans up a little piece of something five more things that she didn't even know were in there come out to play with her and she goes I knew you were coming I didn't know when you'd be here or how big you'd be but welcome and then she calibrates about them too and so she's feeling more empowered she's feeling more eager things aren't bothering her the past is irrelevant and so See it as something you want. See it as something you ask for. See it as something that's a big payoff. But the payoff is not in the future. The payoff's right now with the improved emotion. That's the thing. It feels better right now. It feels better right now. And yeah, it's going to produce all kinds of great stuff. But don't let your ulterior motive be the great stuff. Let your motive be, this feels better right here and now. Yeah. Because when you think about it, let's go back to this conversation that we had earlier about it's attraction 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 so your inner being exists in a state of being as an attractor and the law of attraction is responding to your inner being and your inner being is sure and kind and love and smart and whole and full and eager your inner being is liquid love your inner being is infinite intelligence your inner being is expanded consciousness your inner being is a big deal your inner being is joyful beyond human description so there's your inner being who is you who is you radiating all this becoming and not the becoming that you might be identifying before you got here and messed it up no <laughs> You didn't get here and messed it up. You got here and made it more. Your inner being is more of all of that that we were describing because of the contrast that you've allowed yourself to live. Because in calibrating, you calibrated more. And your inner being enjoys the moreness that you calibrated and calls you home to the fullness of the creation that you have set into motion. You see how it is? Does that make sense to you? So there's your inner being radiating all of this clarity and love and fun and joy of life, radiating it, being it. And here you are having some sort of a relationship with that part of you. So let's say you're having a hard time today. Your inner being isn't. Your inner being is steady. Your inner being's got the light on. Your inner being is giving you an opportunity to feel your way to that. And sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. When you don't, your inner being stays steady in that love but when you do when you do find your way home to it in this moment your inner being feels rapturous and so do you you know those goosebumps that come with that new clarity you know that the love that washes all over you when you're loving someone so much that you want to turn in inside out and lick them all over their face <laughs> you know those feelings that's you in resonance with your inner being as you and your inner being are having your allowing moment because your inner being's been there your inner being's been out ahead of it now you're coming into it now you are allowing yourself to be attracted by your inner being into what your inner being has already become 
And then the cycle just goes again and again and again. So here it is. I know what I don't want. I know what I do want. I launch a rocket of desire. It's not familiar to me because I'm more familiar with what I don't want. But I care about how I feel. And so I feel a little better and I feel a little better and I feel a little better and I feel a little better. Line up with that. Mm, now I'm in alignment with my inner being. And now my vibration rises. And now what my inner being knows about this flows into my experience. I'm brighter. I'm shinier. I feel better. And I get the stuff that I've been wanting. Boom. Manifestation happens. What else happened? Oh, a whole new set of contrasting experiences. I know what I don't want. I know what I do want. I don't really know what I do want. I'm more knowing what I don't want, but what I do want is calling me. And so I care about feeling good. And so I look toward what I do want. And then I line up with it. And then I come into vibrational alignment. And things come into my head. And then boom, I have a manifestation. And now I also have a whole new set of contrasting experiences. And so I know what I don't want. I know what I don't want. That's just how it goes. That's the eternal process of becoming. And it's supposed to feel good. It's supposed to feel good. Does that make some sense to you? Once you get the hang of this, you'll be mad for it. You'll be obsessed with it. And once you discover your own personal power of calibrating to your strength and to your clarity, you'll never want to be wishy-washy or not clear again. You will want to be the deliberate creator that you were born to be. And with some very easy to identify tools and some very easy access of application of these tools, you can leave vibrations in different places so rapidly that what comes around you will be remarkably different right away, right away. Because what you're emanating now is your point of attraction. So it's not the past that is plaguing you. It's your current attention of unwanted things in the past that causes you to continue to calibrate to unwanted things. Over time, we've been saying that reach for the best feeling thought. That's part of calibration. We've been saying you get what you think about whether you want it or not. That sort of is some maybe inspiration to make you want to do some calibration. But mostly what we want you to know is what calibrating is, is just feeling for the emotion that feels better by offering thoughts that induce emotion because you think thoughts and then you have an emotional response and the reason that you have an emotional response to every thought you think to every perception in every moment to every word you speak to every word you hear to everything you focus upon you have an emotional response you do and it's all about this and only about this you were source energy before you came into this physical body that part of you still remains source energy even though you are here in this physical body and that source energy part of you is aware of you all day every day everything that you're living and your inner being has you might call it an opinion a perspective of whatever it is that you are experiencing and that perspective is always pure positive energy it is never ridden with resistance so in every moment in time there is this potential for calibration for you going on and the reason that we give this responsibility you might call it opportunity we like to call it to you is because your inner being will never calibrate to your problem when you find some reason to feel that way what you're actually feeling is a separation that's really too strong a word because you're never going to be cut loose from your inner being sometimes when you feel real bad you might wish you could get cut loose because the reason you feel so bad is because your inner being feels so good really Abraham this is the time to tell me that <laughs> the reason you feel so bad is because you have become something so different than what you are calibrating to right now that there's a tug of war going on inside of you and your only option is to let go of the thought that is causing this separation or move in the direction of what will close that gap. And so that's the game that we are calling calibration. In other words, deliberately reaching for thoughts that feel better. Deliberately reaching for thoughts that feel better.